Gundam Booster 29 was released, and of course, I always got mine late. I'm not sure how people get some of theirs, like, way earlier, but mine just came in yesterday, and I was able to open up every single one of them. We don't need to see the, co the complete open up of everything. We already know what kind of babies come in. We just want to see what they look like, nice with stickers on it, so let's look at the prize that we have right here. Jane Kirby's looking like a beautiful Beyblade. You already see the gimmick trying to work, where... So chain pieces are, I guess they'll just start spreading out when you spin them in battle. It's pretty cool. Got a new fortress disc here. There it is. My ball. My ball's not spinning very, very well, but it's pretty nice. Heard it's not a good part. Heard it's pretty much a, a scraper. Uh, next we got, ooh, one I was really excited about, Drigger V2. As somebody who used to play and watch the old Plastic Gen anime series, really, really happy about this. They put a lot of, this is the one that came with the most stickers for the most part. This set was really, really nice when it came to stickers. Look at this nice support piece right here for nice upper attacks. Over, great disc. It was Wedge Dash. This is really, really cool. Definitely one of the better Beyblades to get from this set, which is weird to say because the Plastic Gen Remix are usually not that great. Um, here you get another chance to get the chain layer. As you can see, fixed out. That Ragnarok looks beautiful. Taper, we've seen a lot of times. It's a pretty old driver. Very weird choice. Um, next, we have, I think, the only one that's left spinner here is Roar Spriggan. Nice, this is like my third Roar Blade, but still pretty cool. My second spring in ship. You get another chance for Fortress, so a nice one to get. And you get a recolor or kick. Can't really complain about that. And again, you get another opportunity at some prize parts. So, Caribbean chip. Of course, if you didn't know, it's like Bahamut has rubber in there, so no clicks. It felt weird when I was first putting it on. I was like, wait, I didn't feel anything. I forgot it was no clicks. We got Legacy. Don't remember, don't think that's good, or too great. I don't know too much about the about the, the meta or anything like that, but Moment, one of my favorite drivers. I love the way it sounds when you spin it. And lastly, Cyclone Valkyrie, one of the most beautiful, and look at the colors on it, looks incredible. Giga, nice to have, and I believe this is High Eternal. This will, focus on it it's definitely a high driver high eternal so yeah let's just see how these beyblades um spin see yeah. let's go and spin carabias nice very very stable sticks right in the middle just like at the best side just like how you want trigger Another perfectly balanced one right in the middle. I don't think we have a lot of attack types in this set. I think it's probably only one. So yeah, Drigger looking very, very nice. Cyclone. I'm expecting Cyclone Valkyrie to just stay right in the middle just like the other Beyblades. Ooh, I love the way it sounds. Can you guys hear that? Nice and stable. Alright. Chain Ragnarok. Let's see how you spin. Oh, what the? Almost expected. Alright. Chain. I mean, see, I mean, dynamite. Here we go. What the? Alright, you hear that sound? Love the moment driver spin. Great. I'm my only left spinner for this set. Of course, you could, it always does come with the parts. You can switch it to a right spinner if you want, but I'd rather just keep it as a left spinner. Why not? I didn't expect that type of movement from this baby and quickly stabilize and ooh, it moves very, very weird. Overall, really, really nice. Like it. Let's just do some battles. Let's go just see how Kerbius does in the stadium against an actual Beyblade opponent. So let's see. Oops, might be. Oops, I might, was that a snipe? Uh, I hope that wasn't a snipe. I apologize if I sniped, I hate doing that. Ooh, you can hear the gimmick. Ooh, Scrape City. Yeah, that totally scraped. Let's do that battle one more time. Yeah, you can definitely hear really, really harsh scrape. Definitely hear the gimmick coming out of the chain layer, and they are smacking against each other. 
Let's open those scraping. Oh no. Yeah, you can definitely hear the scraping. Yeah, Shane Ragnarok got the win. Let's do some more battles. Let's try out these two versus each other. I mean, Trigger is a prize Beyblade, so I hope that was good. Oh, Drinker, Drinker, I say Drinker, Drinker hit pretty hard. This is a pretty fearsome battle. They are really laying into each other. Oh, looks like Drinker might have this. And I was having really high hopes with that high eternal. But Drinker is just a really, really well designed Beyblade. And Drinker's got it. Let's do it one more time. Let's spin Drigger in first this time. And see what goes down. Again, I apologize if I did any sniping. I hate sniping. Ooh, Drigger is tipping over, but I think it's stabilizing. And, oh, there was a scrape there from Valkyrie and... Valkyrie took that one. That was a cool battle. Let's do another battle between these two now. Just to show off how all the Beyblades spin in the arena. I'll make this the final battle of the video. Just want to show these off. Four. Oh wow, Moment. When Moment does his thing, it's so nice. But can Dynamite... Can the dynamite lay stand up against the roar layer? Oh wow. The defense on Dynamite Kirby's is so nice. And Dynamite Kirby's got it at the end. Let's do one more battle. Instead, we'll spin Dynamite first. And Dynamite did get some clicks on it. Despite having that nice rubber, you know. Oh, look. It became the complete circle. I never get that with Bahamut, that given never works, because my Bahamut never ever clicks, so this is pretty nice to see. That was so uh, not fair. Let's do that one more time. I mean, was it fair? It, it looked almost like it's snipe. Let me, I just want to run it back one more time. One more time. I, I kind of don't like the way that that turned out. That looked like it, looked like it kind of got sniped. There we go. This seems like a more even battle. Of course, the good old dynamite battle arena, keeping Beyblade stuck on that lip area right there for to decrease the action. But luckily, these Beyblades aren't really aggressive attack type, so they eventually want to go in the middle where they do best. Anyway, ooh. Goodness, it got slammed. Did you see that? It looks like it looked very close to tell, but Dynamite might have got it at the end. Well, that was the end of the uh, battles, people. What did you guys think of this newest random booster? Did you guys pick up anything from it? I think it's one of those random boosters that's worth worthwhile if you pick up everything because the the prize Beyblade is cool because it's a prize Beyblade, but it's you know, some people might not think it's incredible. I think the whole set as a whole is should probably be the goal. Overall, I think Carabius is really, really cool. And if you are a fan of the Plastic Genie, even if you're not, just to have to the collection, this is so incredibly good. Probably one of the better Beyblades that come out in the whole entire set. Like an actual good competitive remake piece. So, yeah, super happy that I was able to get this set. I hope you guys enjoyed the battles, people. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and peace out.